State in the Miss Nigeria 2017 pageant. I'm here to talk to you about some facts about Abia, God's own state. Abia State is located in the southeastern geopolitical zone of Nigeria and it is bordered by Akwaibom, Ebonyi, Imo, and River State. Abia State has Abia State is predominantly um, Igbo, it has the Igbo tribe, and it has a land mass of, a, of slightly above 5,000 square kilometers. Its capital is Umwahia, and it has 17 local government areas, some of which include Aba North, Aba South, Ukwa West, Ukwa East, Isukwato, Bende, amongst others. The governor of Abia State is His Excellency, Dr. Victor Okezie Ibazu, and the deputy governor of Abia State is His Excellency, Ude Oko Chuku. The Abia State House of Assembly has 24 members, and the speaker is Honorable Chikwendo Kano. It has three senatorial zones, Abia Central, Abia North, and Abia South, and it has eight federal constituencies. So some historical facts about Abia. It was created from the old Imo state on the 27th of August, 1991. Interestingly, ABIA is an acronym that stands for ABA, BENDE, Isukwato, and AFIBO. AFIBO is not part of the present day Ebony state, which was carved out of ABIA state. Now, BENDE, the old BENDE consists of um, Arochuku, Item, Iberi, Alai, and some other places, and they are known for their rich cultural displays in dressing and in their dances. So this is where the famous Bende or Ohafia war dance comes from. Now, other places of interest in Abia State include Aba. Aba has arable lands for farming, and it also houses the National Museum of Colonial History. Other places include Arachuku Cave, the Azumini Blue River in Okwa East local government area of Abia State, and the Ojuku Bonka in Umwahia. With regard to commerce, Aba is the commercial hub of Abia State. It has people who have a high sense of industry and perseverance and have succeeded in manufacturing products ranging from clothes to bags to shoes. Aba also boasts of the Ariaria International Market as well as the shopping center, which is a large market for fabrics. These markets are, why, are known to attract people from neighboring states and beyond. You are very welcome to Abia State, whether as a visitor or as an investor. Indeed, believe me when I say that there is great potential in Abia State, and it is a land of great people. Indeed, it is God's own state. Thank you. Good afternoon, Nigeria. My name is Peace Mildred Ahigwese and I'm representing Adamawa State. I'm going to be saying a few things about this state and I hope that by the time I am done, you would know more about my state and you would want to visit. Adamawa State is located in the northern eastern part of Nigeria with its capital, Yola. With approximately 3.2 million population, it is, it is remarkably recognized as its as the highest peak of the nation. The state governor, Governor Indo Jibrila, was sworn in May 2015 with his deputy governor, Deputy Governor Martins Babali under the APC party. The state was carved out of Gongola after it was separated in, on the 27th of August, 1991, with the other half, Taraba State. Topographically, it is a mountainous state surrounded by valleys and rivers. The major occupation of the people is farming with their major cash crops as cotton and groundnut, food crops, maize, cassava, millet, yam, and cassava. Villages around the river sides also engage in farming while the Fulanis herd their cattle. The state is also the home of two headquarter churches in Nigeria, the Brethren Church of Nigeria, aka EYN in Mubi, and the Lutheran Church of Christ, aka LCCN in Yola. To close, I would say 
to reach your peak, visit the peak. Good afternoon, Nigeria. My name is Annalisa John Umana, and I'm representing Akwa Ibom State, otherwise referred to as Akwa Bati Boom State. And we move on. Located in the southern part of Nigeria is a state named after God, Akwa Basibum State. It is populated by almost 5 million people and has a landmass of 7,000 square kilometers. The governor of the state is none other than Governor Udom Gabriel Emmanuel, and his deputy is Mr. Moses Eko. Akwa Ibom State has a total of 31 local government area. These include Nsedibom, Sedatai, Onna, Abak, Ikote, Pene, and to mention a few. It wouldn't be complete without the colonial activities that took place in Akwa Ibom. The colonial activities such as the slave trade, which in the area called Oron, there's a slave trade, a slave museum right there, and there's an ocean around that area where they were, people were transported to the outside wall. And also in Itu, there was an orphanage made by Mary Slezo, and she used this to save children, the twins that were being killed. Also, in the terms of tourism, we have the International Stadium, we have the Ibano Beach, and we also have two major seaports and an e-library. To crown it up, I would like to say that you all are welcome to Akwa Ibom State, and whenever we are gathered for functions, there is a saying we always have. We start by saying, Akwa Ibom is songo. Akwa Ibom is songo. Anang mama do, oje oje badi okwakuboro. Thank you very much. My name is Luella Wamaka Eze. My full name is Luella Wamaka Eze Wachako. I am from Anambra State and I'm proudly representing Anambra State for the Miss Nigeria 2017 pageant. Anambra is from the word Omambala, which is a river that runs through Anambra State. Anambra State is the second most densely populated state in Nigeria. And we have natural resources like ceramic, um, natural gas, bauxite, and others, crude oil as well. Anambra State has the lowest poverty rate in Nigeria, meaning we are hustlers. We are, most people are traders and farmers. Anambra people are everywhere when it comes to making money. And it has really put us out there as the light of the nation. That is our slogan in Anambra State. The cultural landmarks in Anambra State include the Agulu Crocodile Lake, which um, is the cro it, which is the lake that has the biggest crocodiles and turtles in Anambra State. Although we are not allowed to hunt them because the natives believe that those animals protected us during civil wars and during colonial times. Anambra State also has the Obonike Caves, which was very very impactful or very very necessary during the civil wars. Anambra has the Iboku Museum, where the Iboku Art and Crafts, which is right now in custody of the English the people that colonized us. But we have the museum, which has replicas. We also have the Ijele Masquerade, which is the biggest masquerade in sub-Saharan Africa, which has seven other masquerades over it. Anambra State is important for their clothing, or we're known for our clothing, we dress colorfully. The Igbo women tie wrappers, double wrappers, and scarves known as Ichafu. We are amazing. And if you visit Anambra State, you will be very, very entertained. Thank you very much. I am Ruth Pryor representing Bauchi State. Bauchi State is a state under the northeast of Nigeria. The current governor of Bauchi State is Muhammad Abdullahi Abubakar, and the deputy governor of Bauchi State is Nuhu Budadi. They have a total of 55 tribes. We have creative people, like, we don't 
go out of the state like they make their things in the states their clothes their hair their costume their like everything totally is made in that state so i would like to tell you today that bauchi is the place of home and peace thank you My name is Deborah Ibemo Alfred from Bayelsa State, and I'm here to say a few things about Bayelsa State. Bayelsa State is a state in the southern part of Nigeria, also known as the glory of all lands. It was created on the 1st of October 1996 during the late Sani Abacha regime, military regime. Bayelsa State, Bayelsa, the name Bayelsa was coined from the three major local government areas of the Den River State, namely Brass, Yenegua, and Sagbama, hence the word Bayelsa. Bayelsa State has one of the largest crude oil and natural, and natural gas deposits in Nigeria. However, it saddens me to say that a large amount, a large population of the people of Bayelsa still live in poverty as a result of the oil spillage, as a result of inappropriate care of the state due to the oil exploration in the state. The major means of transportation in Bayelsa State, in the local government of Bayelsa State, was water. But a few years ago, our current governor, His Excellency Sir Henry Sirake Dixon, has made available roads to be able to go to these tradition to these local government areas. So now you can go through water if you want, and you can go through road if you like. We just have three major festivals in Bayelsa State, which is, which are the Lake Efi Fishing Festival, the Segbain Fishing and F um, Feasting Festival, and the Ogunba Festival. <laughs> In summary, I'd like to say, Bayelsa is now a safe place. We have lots of fishes for you all. It's now relatively comfortable, and Bayelsans are welcoming. We are always here to welcome you. We are, we are family-oriented. We are always here for you. So be safe to come to Bayelsa this Christmas, because you are going to love it. Thank you. My name is Patience Abiyanya Adukwe. I'm representing Benue State. And this afternoon, I'm here to tell you a little about my state to get you more interested in the state. Benue State is a state in Nigeria, although it might not be probably very popular, but it's found in the mid region, mid belt region in Nigeria. Also, you could say it's found in the north central. In Benue State, we have a lot of tribes, a lot of languages, and a lot of beautiful people. In my state, we have people that have dominantly inhabited the states. And these people, we have the Teef, we have the Idomas, and then we have the Igedes. And these people speak Idoma language, Teef language, and Igede language. The Idoma speaking people have their headquarters in Otupo, where I come from. And then the Igedes, they have their headquarters at Oju. And the Teefs have their headquarters at Makodi, which also doubles as the capital of the state. My state has a slogan, food basket of the nation. And in fact, and indeed, it's really the food basket of the nation. We have a lot of fruits, we have a lot of fruits, we have big, big yams and so many beautiful things. One thing we are so proud of is the richness in our diverse culture. We do not have just one culture. Each of the tribes, oh, I forgot to mention, the three tribes I mentioned are just the dominant ones. That is to say that they are most populous when you come to my state. But we do have other tribes. We have the Echilo, we have the Jukun, we have Aquea, amongst others, there's so many of them. And in my state also, we have 23 local governments inhabiting each and every of the states, uh, each, each and every of the tribes that I've mentioned to you, okay? And we're also very rich in diverse culture, like I said. Despite the fact that our cultures are very, very different, when you come to Benue, like I said, you could actually find over 20 tribes, but we are united in all of this. We have a governor right now that is trying his best, and he's none other but His Excellency Governor Dr. Samuel Otom. And they are working so hard to put the state in a very, in a very better position, okay? Like we say in my state, our binary is our future. We are the future of Nigeria. Thank you very much.